Hey everyone, thanks for joining. This is Cardboard in the Rough. I'm Justin, and this is going to be the first episode where we walk through a couple of the puzzles on The Light in the Mist. We did start and forgot to record the first one, so we're going to jump in with a walkthrough explaining our thought process, and then we'll pick up from there. Hope you enjoy. As I recap, each of the major Arcana cards, 0 through 21, One. Uh, are a puzzle that we are supposed to be solving. Each puzzle is solved with at least one word. Some of them will have more than one. Uh, I believe this one only has one. And so since we uh, missed the part where we were solving it, let's walk back through how we got to the answer. So, I thought when I first looked at this, let me hold this up so you can hopefully see the same thing I'm seeing. Um, I thought it looked like a monkey. Um, maybe that's just me. Uh, it looked like it had little ears and a mouth. And like this is its furrowed brow and little eyeballs. Bit of a stretch, but I thought, yeah, that's a thing. The other thing I thought was... Um, with this weird, like, liney pattern, I guess, uh, up and down, up and down. It it goes one too um, too long and then one short. So I thought, well, maybe it's Morse code, um, but it's very repetitive. So I thought, well, that wouldn't be a very good good code. Uh, yeah, and similarly, I was looking at this, and I was thinking maybe it, uh, it had something to do. I wasn't thinking Morse code specifically, but um, if you can see, I'll see if it'll focus on this card. I have to get it pretty close. There we go. Um, the long and short segments here, I was thinking maybe that was a numerical thing, but because it, it is a repeating sequence, I decided that that probably wasn't it. Um, I thought maybe it was a magic eye sort of puzzle. Um, looked at it for a while, didn't see anything 3D that stood out. Um, and so eventually I, I sort of... Oh, and of note, we decided the backpack was the clue. Yes, uh, that was another, like, I, I guess you'd call it a hint from the, the book. The, um, the old woman says, start with the fool. Notice that it bears no fruit, so all you need is already in front of you. Just know that the patterns you carry with you will help you see the truth. So we were pretty sure it related to the patterns on the backpack. Um, and then I, it kind of just, I saw it. Uh, if you turn the card this way. The pattern spells out the word begin. Uh, so it's a repeating pattern if you, if you turn the card on its side. So that was uh, kind of interesting. I wasn't sure what type of puzzles to expect uh, with this. And we haven't done anything past this first one. Um, and so I have now checked on the, they have a solutions page uh, where you can enter the card number and get the number of solutions. This one only has one. And then it has a um, verify your solution to get a passage number. So I put in begin and it gives me passage number 120. So could we have done it without you checking the solution? Uh, there's an index back here which I think should have the same thing. Solutions. Oh index. but you may accidentally yeah. see the other answers. Oh, yeah. Okay never mind. Um, so this, and I just glanced at the solution index, and it does give the same number, so that, that is correct. You fan out the major arcana cards in your hand, and pick out a card that grabs your attention, and gather the other necessary cards. Before trying to decipher its secrets, you listen to see if the old man, the, sorry, the old woman, has any words of wisdom to offer for your next challenge. Uh, so do you want to just shuffle these, or pick one that looks neat? Uh, how do you want to do it? How about... Let's pick one of these. This one. Okay, I like the, the flowers on that. It's... Yeah, that's why I picked it. That's a nice look. 
Okay, so this is number three, and we need to look for the wisdom section. Uh, the Empress. The sun peeks out from behind the dark clouds as you enter a garden-like clearing among the trees, sprinkled with red, blue, and purple flowers. As a breeze gently stirs the tall grass, you kneel down to examine the flowers when you hear the old woman's voice in your ear. Seedlings are mated to bring about new life, and each has its own unique features and a genetic code. Some genes can combine colors or quantities of an element to create new hybrid features. Start by examining the commonalities and differences of the red flowers and isolate their features to decode the others. Then choose the breed with the healing power you seek. Just remember that ordering genes is not always an exact science. They have a tendency to get mixed up. Mm. Um, <clears throat> okay. So that is the Empress, um, and I don't think it has any other cards that we need. I'm not entirely sure how to note that. I think it did say that there's an index in here for that as well. We need one through three uh, of cups. Okay. So, cups, cups, cups. all look related. They do. So these have this symbol, but I'm not sure how we know from this. So I'm guessing we need three because there's these. Little moons? Looking the, thingies? It said little fruit because the first one it didn't bear any fruit. Oh, interesting. So that's probably how many we need, but we're Okay, we so yeah. So we're looking at this upper part and on the full it was just all the same color but then looking at the empress it has one two three little dots here that are then, apparently fruit yeah here we go the number of fruit at the top of the major arcana cards indicate how many additional cards are needed and the symbols at the top of the minor arcana cards indicate what puzzles they are used in Oh, okay, so this is the Empress symbol, so that's why they're all related. Yeah, and we have read the, the Wisdom, and I believe she said to start with the red. Ah, and there's words written on these cups. And there's word, or little uh, words written around the edges of these as well. Uh, these two also have a symbol in the middle here, I'm not sure what that means. Yeah, because the other one doesn't have it. And these two have a different symbol down here above yeah. the number we'll leave, yeah. oh and then on the sides yep that's true so many symbols uh, so our red flowers we've got five petals four petals four petals and the words are pit pet tea I'm gonna yep, get a little notebook here so we'll write those down pit pet and T. And then you said 544. Four. I'll just write those numbers with it just just because. Just because. And let me let me reference the wisdom section one more time. Just make sure. All right. Repeat. And then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, I believe. Genes can combine eight, colors. Eight or quantities of an element to create new, new hybrid features. Examining the commonalities and differences of the red flowers, isolate their features to decode the others, then choose the breed with the healing power you seek. Okay. So, okay, so it said start with red, you said. Yeah, and so something I'm kind of noticing is like the similarities of the letters here, which mm -hmm. may be similar to the, um, the the genes, if you will, of these things. So like, repeat, so red and blue makes purple, mm. if you're mixing. And so we've got R's here, both of these have R-E, mm -hmm. race and rice. And then, and then pet and tea, both. You, you could make uh, repeat 
sort of by mixing those. So mm-hmm. I think that is on the right track. But it said we need to find the similarities and the differences between the red flowers. Well, so these two have the same leaf, and this one has a different leaf. So pit and pet are at least somewhat related um, in terms of similar leaf. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even notice the leaves. Uh, Yes. And so we have leaves that are different and number of petals that are different. So... If we just look at, and then pit and pet both start with P, and they have the same type of leaf, so maybe the P is important for that leaf. So let's see. So pit and pet, and then T. T is more of a long, long boy leaf. Long snaky leaf, yeah. These around the edges, these words may not be related to this particular puzzle. Oh, yeah, because it can be used for a few different puzzles. Okay. So, we have a 4 blue, a 5 blue, with a long straight leaf and a round leaf. Mm -hmm. Because there's three types of leaf total, because this one's jagged and long. Correct. There's also a jagged and long right there. Um, And then, yeah, we've got this long one, which I'm not sure who this belongs to. Um, It... It belongs to this. To the purple? Just based off of the fact it comes out of the base, but that's... And that makes sense. Um, okay, and then, yeah, we've got a purple one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight purple, which is what we have here, but instead of a round leaf, it's got a jagged leaf. So I think that's what we have to do, is figure out what letters correspond to which things, Mm -hmm. and then this probably makes the word. Ah, yep, I bet you are correct. So the round leaf, it only got one. This one only has one. This one, it's got two. So these must be the simplest white form, I guess? I think so. So I think that P space T is important as well. You think that's round leaf? Right. So round leaf may be P blank T. Mm-hmm. And then, because um, just looking over here at the blue, they both have a jagged leaf. They both have R space C, E. Um, so that might be significant. Uh-huh, that's true. And the ones with four petals, they have an E in the middle over here. I think that's true for... A things, I mean uh, red things, but that doesn't hold true right. with this four. So then let's let's look at the blue ones. So like you mentioned, it, so they both have a jagged leaf. Mm-hmm. And then race has race a, has a long skin leaf. Mm-hmm. Okay, and they're both R blank C E. Mm-hmm. And then looking over here at T, um, that also has a long leaf. I don't know how that specifically relates, other than this also has an A and an E, and that has an E and an A. May or may not be a thing. So repeat, just to note, has eat on the end, which is another, like, also T-E-A is, could be misspelled as eat, so this is the same letters in a different sequence. It did specify that you will only have to rearrange letters exactly once. Oh, yes, and I think it said it would tell you, or no, it would only happen once total, something like that. Yeah, so I'm not going to assume that we have to do that quite yet. Okay. I'm not sure about the long leaf yet. I think you're right on the the round leaf being P blank T. Mm Mm-hmm. And I think that could be over here, where we have repeat, but P blank T, the blank could be E-A. Mmm. Uh-huh. I was looking at, like, adding leaf numbers together. So, like, this is 5, and this is 4, and this one has 9 leaves. So I was Mm -hmm. like, well, maybe 5 plus 4 equals the 9 leaf, and the only difference between them is an I and an E, and this has an I and an E, but... Maybe, yeah. Actually, but that's... 
but also they have different leaves. So I was thinking, well, maybe there's a way to bring those over here and do the same thing. Look for I and an E, but there's no I and an E. So. Yeah, and race has an A and an E. Mm hmm. Because if you were also, like, this one's eight, and maybe this is just too weird, but four and four equals eight, so pet and T have some similar letters here, or if you add race plus T or race plus pet, some similar letters there. So the commonality is R blank C E on this, mm -hmm. but like we, we were saying on this, maybe if this is P blank T with any number of things in between, maybe this is actually just R blank E. And it just so happens that C is there twice? Potentially. Okay. Maybe C is related to these jagged leaves. Mm-hmm. And maybe the R represents blue. Oh, I was thinking blue, kind of how... No, because that, the P blank T is that leaf. So, I don't, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure what red is. Mm-hmm. Because since they don't all start with the same thing, then it wouldn't necessarily be the flower color. That's true. So this but blue... But they do all have a T in the letter. They do have a T in it, yes. R blank question mark on the C. E. I think that's because they're blue. Or because of jagged leaf. It's hard to tease those apart, I think. Tease them apart? <laughs> yeah, so T is in all of them. I think you're right. T probably is red. Mm -hmm. The difference between pet and T. Obviously they both have an E, so that is not a characteristic of the jagged leaf. This one has an A. Sorry, not jagged leaf, the, the long leaf. The others don't have an A. So the long leaf might be an A. Because race has an A, and there's an A in this repeat, and they all have long leaves. I'm going to go with that for now. So I'm going to say long leaf is an A, and red is a T, and then a circle leaf, our best guess so far on that is P blank T. Mm -hmm. And then jagged leaf, maybe this R space C E. Or that could be blue. We can't distinguish those yet. Yeah, this is the only one with jagged leaves and the only one with blue in this subsection. So that does complicate it. So we need to figure out the number of petals mm -hmm. because we've got four petals and a five petal. And then over here we've got a four petal and a nine petal. So if we can mm -hmm. figure out the difference between the petals Maybe on help. the reds and carry that over to the blue, then we can probably figure out the difference and uh, the difference between blue and um, Jagged Edge, maybe. So, four on here, they both have an E in the middle. Yes. And five has an I in the middle. But four over here does not have an E in the middle. No, it has it on the end. But maybe E is the... No, because rice has it. Never mind. It could just be more generally related to which vowel is in the middle. So that still doesn't help us with the jagged leaf. Mm -hmm. But that would tell us... It doesn't tell us which vowel. It just tells us that different numbers oh. of petals... Oh, go ahead. Odd and even. So even has an E um, on this. And then odd has an I. Um... And then this is odd and it has an I. Okay, well that doesn't follow with this, but that's a thing. And then let's see if we can... So repeat is going to be a combination of red and blue, but we don't know what blue means yet. We may be able to work backwards from that, though. It's a good thought. Um, so it has a round leaf, so it's going to have... P blank T, mm -hmm. which it does, mm -hmm. it's going to have... A long leaf, and it already has the T. Uh, the long leaf is an A. Ah, never mind. And it has an A. This is what we decided um, based on the leaves over here. Mm -hmm. 
but that could be wrong. I mean, it does have an A in repeat. So we do have an A. And then all of the red ones have the letter T. So does the letter T come from it being red, or is that part of the round leaf? Or is the round leaf just P blank? Yeah, maybe it's just P, and then um, red is T, and then maybe blue is just R. Maybe R something C? No, I th I'm thinking oh, maybe just yeah. blue itself is R, since there's no C over here. Um, so if we do P and R for, I mean, uh, T and R for the two letters, those are present here. Oh, and that's beginning and the end. R and T. So blue, R, red, T, that could be a thing. Uh -huh. um, and then in the middle, EP, <laughs> EPEA um, could represent um, the other parts of it. So if blue and red come together, because they're like on the bookend, so I don't know, I kind of like that situation. Um, then the one, two, three, four letters left represent the leaf types and the number of petals. So maybe the A comes from the long leaf, and then the P comes from the round leaf, so then there's two E's left. I'm taking one more look at this wisdom. System. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. And then the E could be, because um, the four top over here um, both have an E, and there's two E's, and two E's together make eight. I mean, a four together twice makes eight. So there's two E's, one for each four, and then P from the fact that it's a round leaf, and then A from the fact that it's a long leaf, and then R and plus T, blue and purple together, come together to make repeat. So each four... So like four red here and four red here both have E in the middle, mm -hmm. um, and pit does, I mean this is pit with a P, and that's a five top. So if four is represented by E, there's two E's and eight. So four, and then a second number of four to get eight. Okay. And then A would just come from something else. That would follow because... Would, yeah, A would come from the... The long leaf. The long yeah, leaf. because race has an A and an E and only mm -hmm. four. That's, yeah, that's really good. I think you are onto something there. So if we take that back over here... And we look at all of this, so R equals blue, A equals long leaf. Um, let's say... Does that mean C would be jagged leaf? Yeah, because since the E is 4, so C is jagged leaf. I could be 5. It's 5. Yeah. Because pit is 5. Right. And then 5 plus... Um, 4 is five 9. Plus 4 is 9. Yeah. Neat. Okay. So let's try to look at these blue ones then. So this is a 4, which we know is E. Sorry, it's probably kind of hard to see these notes. This camera is not uh, picking that up very well. Here we go. Maybe next we should write in marker so it's uh, bolder. Yeah, it's not a bad plan. Okay. So we know there's an E because of the 4. Let's just look at quantities. There's a five, so we know there's an I, and then... I think that one's eight. I think you're right. One, two, three, eight. So that would be um, E, two, E. Two E's, yeah. Yeah. So that's the quantities. And then over here... So I think this is going to be two... It could be two words. I think you're right. Which we means maybe this one has two solutions. This could be one of the cards that has more than one. Because it says choose the healing power you seek. So I bet there's two possible answers on this one. One for the blue ones at the top and one for the purple one. Yeah, so take them as separate flower words. So, okay, so this one is an E and an I, and this one is an E and an E. So then long leaf, we decided, is A, a. And elliptical round leaf is a P. And yes, I know I'm writing this weird and it's confusing. No, it's okay. okay, long leaf, 
A, jagged leaf, C, C. and then colors. So blue is an R, and then purple is R and T. Any other information that we need from this? I don't think Where so. Where was purple R and T? Sorry, I missed that part. Uh, remember, um, R is blue, and then T is red. Oh, it's just because it's both. Right, so they're, red they're and just... purple. Or red and blue make purple. You're better at Boggle than I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we've got so far in this thing. Uh, React is one letter too short for the second one. Let's see. Yeah, and then this one has too many E's to be pair. Um, I'm looking at the second one first just to, to sort of see. So it probably starts with RE. That's just going to be your most common starting set here. And it may, let's see, RE ends in a T. Or it could be create. You know what? You're, it's create. <laughs> well, make sure I'm spelling that right. Spell C R E A T. Yeah. All right. Write that down. Okay. And then up here, um, it's not repia, <laughs> but um, that's all I yes. keep seeing. <laughs> A ripe. <laughs> Pear E. Okay. Now I'll stop saying fake words. Uh, let me let me think. So A, we have because you wrote E and I. I just wrote them. What? Because what if it's um, this is the only one we've seen where it has two flowers. Mm-hmm. What if it's two different words, like one with an E and one with an I, mm -hmm. but everything else the same? Interesting thought. I I don't think that's it. I think they're in the same one. Can we get all the stuff? So a long leaf is an A, round leaf is a P, blue is an R. What if there's a second R? Because there's two blue flowers. Ah, yep. Do that. Yes, that fits. Okay. Repair? Yes. Repair and create. That makes sense because they're kind of... Okay, both healing words. Look at that! Yay! Good job. Okay, I'm going to uh, enter this in the solutions page. Oh, I will wait to write it down in our journal, but I feel like we're right. So. Okay, so card number three has two solutions, so we were right about that. Let's check repair first. That one leads to 107, so you can just write that in here. And create leads to 105. Hmm, so I wonder if we can only, if we only choose one. I think it said you could do more than one. Let me double check, though. Some puzzles lead to multiple answers, each connected to a different story passage. You can choose for yourself whether to derive just one answer per puzzle or try to find them all. The latter approach will provide you with additional pieces of narrative. Okay. All right. Uh, and that was a puzzle. I think we should probably stop there Yeah. Uh, for now. And we will pick this up next time. But uh, thank you for joining us. This has uh, been Cardboard in the Rough.